lights, camera, action. Okay. You are watching Food as Medicine TV, where we help you heal from the root cause. Look at all this beautiful, healthy food. I'm so excited to talk to you about antioxidants today, to take a little bit of a deeper dive into how you can use antioxidants strategically to slash not only acute, but also chronic inflammation, which we know is the root cause of all disease. It's a silent killer, it's inflammation, but how you can slow the aging process, improve your energy and improve your cellular health, all through using beautiful food as medicine. So I just want to explain that we have this scale where we measure the power of antioxidants. It's called the ORAC scale, the oxygen radical absorbency capacity of a particular food tells you how well does it kill poisons in the body and help us regenerate cellular health. So the highest foods that you're looking at here today on the ORAC scale are things like cinnamon, which we love, Ceylon cinnamon, remember, not cassia. But then we also love cloves and turmeric. My Italian favorite here, oregano, dried oregano, very high on the ORAC scale. And then the acai berry, which we've got a little smoothie we made with acai, unsweetened acai. Those are the highest on the ORAC scale. And they're great to get in your life in a daily basis. But now let's just talk about general fruits and vegetables. Now we can break our antioxidants into two categories. We have direct antioxidants and indirect antioxidants. Direct antioxidants, they kind of work like a bee, a bee stings and then it dies. Direct antioxidants, they will extinguish a poison or a free radical and then their use goes away. Whereas indirect antioxidants will stimulate the body's own ability to kill free radicals for a while after you consume them. Nonetheless, we need our direct antioxidants. And so there are five different categories. The first one is vitamin C. So the three things that we're looking at here that are highest in vitamin C, can you guess? Red bell peppers, they are highest out of anything here in vitamin C. And next is the kiwi fruit very high in vitamin C, and then our oranges, while they're delicious and also loaded with folate, they're third. They have the least amount between those three. But we still need our vitamin C. We also need our vitamin E. It's so important for skin and neurological health, and when you combine vitamin C and vitamin E, it has the effect of like an indirect antioxidant, and they both work better in the body. So get your avocados in, get your sunflower seeds in to really get your vitamin E. And then we also want you to have selenium. That's a very important antioxidant that is found in Brazil nuts, in halibut. It's also found in tuna, in grass-fed beef. So selenium, super important for the thyroid. If you have any sort of thyroid issues at all, you should be making sure you have foods with selenium on a daily basis. But selenium is also a precursor to help the body make glutathione. And glutathione is a wonderful enzyme that helps the whole body detoxify. It's an enzyme that is the master detoxifier in the body, especially with the liver. So just two to five Brazil nuts a day. That's all you need to get your recommended daily allowance of selenium. You can do that, right? And then we, we really need the antioxidants that are found in the purple berries, blackberries and blueberries. They're called anthocyanidins and they will help retard the aging process. They will prevent free radical damage. And nature lets us know. It's just these bright colors. They're just so healthy for us. And then you want to get this class of antioxidants in, which are your indirect antioxidants that are going to help your body kill free radicals for hours after you consume them. And so sulforaphane is a major one. That is found in broccoli, and these little guys right here are broccoli sprouts, which they have a ton more sulforaphane in them than mature broccoli. It's an easy thing to add on your salads, to add into your sandwiches. Cabbage is also part of that antioxidant family. 
And then here, your organic grapes must be organic. They're on the dirty dozen. They have resveratrol. That's wonderful for your lung capacity. It's wonderful if you're training for a marathon or you're trying to improve your exercise at all. And then, of course, you know, we talk about turmeric until we're blue in the face at the whole journey. So getting in your fresh turmeric root, and if you mix it with black pepper, you improve the bioavailability of it. And start to make recipes out of this. Here's our golden milk recipe, which we're gonna link to the blog where you can make golden milk, you can make acai bowls. We've got an amazing uh, flourless chocolate cake with raw cacao, very high in antioxidants, with an acai pomegranate sauce that goes on top of it, which is delicious. So we're gonna link to ways to get these foods in your diet and how to use them strategically together so you get more antioxidant power. So if you mix iron with vitamin C, you increase the bioavailability of both. If you steam your vegetables versus saute them or fry them, you're gonna get a lot more antioxidant power even than if you eat them raw, if you lightly steam them. So head over to the blog for more tips and recipes because I want to see you live a long, healthy, non-inflamed life and it's easy to do with Food as Medicine. We will also give you supplement tips. We have our four favorite supplements that have all these nutrients consolidated in them over on the blog.